My name is Matthew Kleiman. We're here at the Kit booth at NAMM 2024. And today we're going to be looking at our one of our newest announcements and a future release, the Blackbird Studio A reverb chamber. So this plugin has been about 18 months in the making. Uh, it's the first of a long line of plugins we're doing using the same technology platform that we've developed here. So the entire reverb section of the plugin, which is this top section here, is built using artificial intelligence technology. Uh, our developers set out about 18 months ago to develop this technology specifically for reverb and room emulation, uh, based around mostly real spaces, but we do plan on bringing that technology into other types of reverb too. So this was the perfect first plugin for us to build this into, bring it to the public, because the Studio A Chamber Blackbird is one of the most unique in the world. It's uh, John's brainchild with the moving ceiling that has become so legendary in its own right. So right here on the faceplate of the plugin, on the right side here, we have a rendering of the actual chamber. In the middle, we have a panel that lets you handle your source and your pre-delay. And on the right side, you have height controls for the ceiling and microphones. A big thing for us is always usability. We want to make things easy. So we'll start with ceiling height adjustment. You can adjust it here on this blueprint. You can use the height slider right next to it. Or you can actually come over here and click right on that microphone and just drag it up and down. As long as the microphone is on the ceiling, you can use that to adjust it. You can also choose where that microphone is going to be, on the floor. You can choose whether you want a C24, an R88, or a 414. These are the, the three most common sets of microphones people tend to use in there, and some of John's personal favorites. You also can control, like I said, the source. So direct basically means your sound source is in the chamber. If it's a singer, they're standing in the room. Hi-Fi will put a speaker on the floor. It's uh, based on a studio monitor. We kind of made an amalgamation of different monitors and uh, picked our favorite tone. And then you have a PA speaker. The PA speaker is based off of John's personal PA speaker that he keeps in the chamber. And when reamping, that's what he uses. Um, because we're using artificial intelligence, we had a distinct advantage here. When you put the microphone on the ceiling in real life and you bring it up, you're gonna have a, a longer pre-delay because you're getting further from your source. We use the artificial intelligence to remove that. So your, your pre-delay is going to be zero no matter what ceiling height you set. And then you can manually set any pre-delay you want right here. That way, let's say you pick that perfect pre-delay, but you want a longer tail on that reverb, they're disconnected. Uh, in the final release build, we are planning on having a link button where people will be able to link the pre-delay. Uh, that'll either be an update or in the release. Um, another feature that's not here, but I'll explain in a minute, is going to be turning the compressor into a ducker. That will be in the release build. Once you look at the bottom half of the plugin here, this is your return channel. So in real life, when you pump sound into the reverb chamber, you're going to come back through real gear. We wanted to give people that. That's the Blackbird experience. This is one of the many chains John likes to use. It seems to be the most popular. We have a 1073 inspired preamp. We have a 31105 inspired EQ. Only difference here is we took out the high Q buttons and the peak buttons. Not really necessary for this application. Compressor's not modeled after anything specific, but it's inspired by a few of John's favorite sort of uh, program-dependent vibey compressors. Something that's uh, aggressive, but slow. Because when you're compressing reverb, that's a really great tool. You got input and output, so you can gain stage however you want. Uh, if you drive really hard into the room, you will get those extra early reflections. If you pull back, they won't reflect as hard off the wall. You'll get a smoother reverb. So we can do a little audio example now so you can hear that. Uh, I'm going to start by just soloing a vocal here because that's really the easiest way to hear the reverb. Turn this up a little bit. So I can turn off the reverb altogether. That's the drier vocal. Hop that reverb on, instantly hear it. If I mute and I turn this up, you can hear just the reverb. Um, I can move the ceiling all the way up. Bring it all the way down, tighten that room right up. I can also switch microphones. So if I go to the R88, distinct difference there. Go to that 414, you get that classic 414 sibilance, a little brighter. You can also put in that PA speaker. Instantly get that mid-range push of a, of a small 12-inch PA speaker that you'd expect. 
Um, and these PA speakers that they use, they're not particularly special or expensive. So they, they really have that mid-range honk and it makes a very special effect on a vocal in my opinion. Um, and at the bottom here, like I said, you can do whatever you want. So pick a slightly different setting, throw that on the floor. I could turn this on, add some harmonics. We, we, we dialed back the preamp for most of our plugins. We don't let you go as ballistic because you really just want to add that harmonic content. You're not trying to go nuts. Um, you got pre and post filters. They run at the same time. So you could filter going in and then filter going out. You just share one section on the GUI, switch what you're looking at here. Uh, we got a full EQ here so you can change the tone of that EQ. Let's say you wanted to bring back up uh, mid-range or scoop it back, make it a little less harsh, take out some of that high end, pull out some of that low end. You could be very aggressive with this or you could be very subtle with it. You can also just turn that off if you don't like it. And then again, we got a compressor at the end here, so you can pop that compressor in. And as you can see, the way the, the, the needle moves, it's a very slow, very vibey compressor. Uh, it reminds me of a few different tube compressors that are on the market, but it's not anything specific. So this is the first of multiple plugins we're gonna be building with this technology. Other Blackbird chambers, room emulations, things like that will be coming down the road. So that's our new Blackbird Studio A chamber that we're gonna be releasing soon. Obviously the show floor here at NAMM is not the best place for audio examples, so I encourage everyone to go to our website when we release it, get that 14 day free trial and hear it for yourself. Thanks.